Well, welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fisherman. Today, we're fishing the North Saskatchewan and the, the river has a little walleye chop. You know it's windy out when the river has white caps. But anyways, we're gonna call this the start of fall fishing because the leaves are already starting to change color. We're fishing a little back, Eddie. I'll get into that a little bit later. But for now, we're doing a little bit of baiting, baiting and waiting. We're gonna see if there's fish here. I lost a big fish here the other day. I don't wanna talk about it. I just deleted the footage. I didn't wanna relive that moment. It was a nice fish, but it is what it is. We're already out there. Let's just wait on a North Saskatchewan fall walleye. So because it's so windy, I don't have my rod up in the air. I'm keeping it nice and low so I can keep an eye on it because the wind's just gonna blow it around if you have it way up here. It's way windier there than it is here. It's the best way to do it. Keeping your rod tip low, you'll still be able to detect those bites when a fish comes along. The area that we're fishing, I know it's really hard to tell, kind of. So you can see all these bubbles here. They're flowing this way. And you can see the bubbles. I don't know if you can with the GoPros. The current's going this way. Basically, this is a big loop. We call this a back eddy. Really good spot to try for walleye. It's not super deep here. It's only about five, six, seven feet, depending on where you're casting. Yeah, let's just wait. Fish on, fish on. There we go. Got him. Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That might be a pike though. That might be a pike. Felt good. Yeah, it's a pike. Getting all tangled up. This little guy. <sighs> there we go. That's probably one of the coolest shots I've ever got. Just a little tiny pike to start off the fall walleye, I guess. He's, uh, it's not the fish we're after, but it's a start. Smelly little river pike. They fight so good. Go back. There we go. What a fish. Do I have to retie? But let's talk about the rig we're using today. It is a three way rig. I just have a three way swivel, about 18 inches of line with a floating jig head and a size four aught octopus hook as a little stinger because I find sometimes these fall walleye they like to hit it short and that helps a lot and then of course I have my line that's going down to my weight this is only eight pound test so if I get stuck or something the fish isn't stuck to a weight at the bottom of the river the weight snaps off it's two dollars and fifty cents and you get your fish back Let's get rebaited and let's get out there. All I'm using for, oh yeah, and all I'm using for bait is minnows. I might switch it up to worms if I keep catching pike, but for now it's minnows. Let's get out there. And I'm not bombing it out there. I'm making sure that I'm not passing that current scene that I was talking about earlier. I'm kind of going right in the middle of the back eddy. Just like so. There, it's on bottom. And I'm loosening my drag. Walking back. Tightening it up a bit. Putting the rod down. And waiting on a fish. What, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? 
Am I feeling something? Sucks that these ugly sticks have the sensitivity of a 2x4. Should have just let it sit. I think that was just the wind blowing it over. Bait looks unfazed. So. One thing that kind of sucks about these three-way rigs is you really got to watch when they, because they will get tangled every once in a while. So, Whoop. there you go. Wait for it to hit bottom. Loosen the drag. Tighten her up. There we go. I got it. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. There we go. Fish on. He doesn't feel very big. No big pole like that little pike. Most likely a walleye. Oh, just a baby. Just a baby walleye. Look at him, and he went for, looks like the worm. Just the worm. There we go. I might just run a double worm rig then. Cause yeah, that wall I definitely ate a worm. Just a tiny little guy. Not worth showing off to the main camera. Let's go, there we go. Back in the river she goes. That just shows when you're playing around in the river. Don't be afraid to just throw on something a little wonky i know like that was a worm and a minnow but it definitely got us into a little walleye not the ideal size but if that is our starting point they can only get bigger from there right well hopefully hopefully they don't catch like a three inch one now i love this floating jig head method i used it actually i caught my biggest walleye on this method a few years ago 29 and a half inches. I'm still trying to break that 30 mark. No, I don't know if it will ever happen. It seems like it's destined to never happen. But, you know. It will come with time. Hopefully we aren't in the walleye nursery. But, because it's windy, I'm not fishing a bell. Bells are annoying in videos and just in general when you're fishing the shoreline with other people drives me nuts when people aren't taking their bells off when they're reeling in a fish take the three seconds please for everyone around you oh There we go. He's a little guy. But he's still there. He's still there. Little guy. Let's go show him off to the camera. Because he is an absolute toad. An absolute monster. Hold on. An absolute monster there. He's like shoulder to shoulder on me. Anyways. Where's your mom? Tell your mom I'm not looking for her and to eat. She deserves to eat too. In the nursery. I'm in the walleye nursery. Catching small fish and losing a lot of fish. And getting kind of frustrated. I could be a country music artist. Spotify artist of the year? Zach the Fisherman? I guess we're gonna continue weeding through these little guys. It has been a slow, 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 slow afternoon. Full of small eyes. No wall eyes here, just the small eyes. Yeah, that's okay, I'm out fishing. Right now I'm working in a waterfowl hunting camp. I don't get a whole lot of time to go out fishing. Like I gotta leave here in I think about half an hour or so to be back in time. 
I'm gonna continue to try and upload some videos. We have finally hit 1600 subscribers. So thank you so much for everyone who subscribed and watches these videos and leaves a like, comment, subscribe. Um, this isn't the introduction by any means. I'm, I'm gonna wait until the last dire minutes for a fish to come. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing this fall. I wish I could be fishing a lot more. Hopefully in the next few years I can, but for now, man's gotta make money. You know what I mean? So we're just doing the whole wait and bait, bait and wait and hopefully we can catch something decent, even like a 17 inch or like, come on. We've been catching some tiny, tiny, tiny walleye today and a tiny pike to start off the day. So hopefully something comes along, something eats and we catch a toad or a proper walleye. So let's keep waiting. Got one, got a fish. Well, that feels like a good fish, maybe. It's pulling. Poland got lots of fight in it. It's just a small walleye. <sighs> it's definitely the biggest one though. There we go. That guy is the nicest. He's chunky. He's a chunky fish. Not the fish we're after, but a fish nonetheless. Well, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Final fish of the trip. Oh, it's off. He's off. Okay, well, I wasn't able to catch another walleye. I'm just holding this rod in my hand for now. I'll reel it in after the cameras are off. But uh, yeah. We caught a few walleye. I'm not very happy with the outcome of this video. But we can just call it an update, right? Like, fishing's been tough for me. I've, uh, I've had a lot of trips that turned out not so great. Usually, I wouldn't upload a video like this because I literally caught some of the world's smallest walleye. Um, but that's okay. I I'm trying to... One of my goals was to better quality videos, whether that be catching lots of fish or catching big fish or you, you know what I mean, you, you get the point. That was one of my goals for 2022 and I feel like I kind of accomplished that. There's a few times where I just got a video out for getting a video out sake. I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't worry, I'm still around, I'm still fishing. I'm trying to get more content. I'm going fishing on my birthday, 12 hours of fishing. Got the time off work, so there's that. I'll see you guys on the next video, and I hope it turns out to be a good one. Peace.